Hey, quick pause there. Four things, the core four, the four things you need to think about, focus on when you are thinking about your health. All right, number one is rest. Okay. Like I said, this is going to be hard work. You need to rest. A lot of things happen while you sleep. A lot of things happen in your brain with the chemistry up there. A lot of things happen with your body, the, the muscles, the cells that get uh, taxed, stressed during the day, they get rejuvenated. Short-term memory gets converted to long-term memory. You also can activate that reticular uh, thinking system in your brain, your reticular system in your brain, to help come up with answers to questions that your conscious brain struggles with. So rest. And when I mean rest, I mean eight hours. This four-hour stuff, look, the... The, the, the Army, and Joe, you tell me if the Navy felt this way too, but the Army feels like you can get by on four hours of sleep for a, a period of time, right? Um, and I've gone, look, I've tried this every way from Sunday. I've gone with four hours of sleep a night. I've gone with working overnight and sleeping during the day. I've gone with sleep two hours, work two hours, sleep two hours, work two hours. Tried them all. And without a doubt, without question, the one that works best for me, and I think it'll work best for you, I'll tell you why in just a minute, is eight hours of sleep at night. Because we've got this thing called our circadian rhythm, and we need to not fight against that. That's why you get sleepy at night and you're more alert during the day, because that's the rhythm of your body. Figure out what that rhythm is, and then use it to your advantage. So, now, now, Element number one of the core four is rest. Element number two is exactly the opposite. Exercise. Got to have exercise. Yeah, Joe says the four hours can be done, but it'll have a long-term negative effect. I believe it. I believe it. All right, exercise. We exercise this thing all the time, but the rest of this thing carries this thing around. Right? Our head gets plenty of exercise, but we need our body to get our head where we need it to be, all right? So you need you need that exercise in order to keep it in shape. What, I mean, I'm not even going to hammer this one, right? For one reason, because I'm not that great at it. I know it. I have a hard time doing it. I'm right there with you, see? But you need that exercise. Keep the blood flowing. Keep the juices flowing. Keep all the systems lubricated and operating well. Number three, the third of the core four, is nutrition. You got to eat. Now, you have to eat and you have to eat wisely. How many of you have a car that you put high octane fuel in? That used to be a big deal. I don't know if it still is or not. I never did it, right? But I know a lot of people that swear by it. You put better fuel in it, you get better results. Um, surely, the same thing works for our body, right? I mean, you can't put kerosene in a jet fighter and expect it to perform well. And that's what you're doing when you stuff your body full of junk food. Now, again, I'm not the poster child for that, but I haven't had, uh, so I gave up drinking sodas in, uh, wow, 2006, I think, 2005 or 2006. I did, it, well, I did it once in 1991. I went five or six years, didn't drink a soda, and then I started back. Bad boy. And then 2005 or 2006, I, I quit drinking them again. So it's probably been 10 years since I've had a soda. That stuff's bad for you. Fast food, bad for you. Did I get it every once in a while? Eh, every once in a while. But it's just plan, right? This goes back to what we were talking about yesterday. You've got to plan your time, right? Where focus goes, energy flows, you, your, um, what you pay attention to, right, is going to betray your true priorities, right? So if you want to be healthy, then you will spend the time to exercise and eat right. It's that simple. All right, and then number four, the fourth of the core four to maintain your health is hydration. This stuff <clears throat> right here um, causes you to lose fluids. <laughs> so drink plenty of water. I don't, you already took it back to the kitchen. My 22-ounce glass of water, first thing I do when I hit the kitchen, fill that up, drink that. Your body is dehydrated when you get up in the morning. When your body's dehydrated, the brain doesn't work right. 
So drink some water. If you, if you want to take a pro tip on this, squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. That lemon juice in water uh, turns alkaline. Your body alkal uh, turns it to alkaline uh, after you drink it. And that just kind of helps things flow better, flow well. All right. So those are the core four. Get plenty of rest, get plenty of exercise, eat right, and hydrate. If you do those four things, and look, all things in moderation, right? But if you do those four things, you think about those four things, then I promise you, you're going to feel a lot better. All right. Uh, yes, Joe says, very good point. And uh, good morning, Jeremy. Thank you for being here, too. Joe says, there are some individuals that need to exercise their body and their mind. I agree with that. And actually... I do believe in this thing called neuroplasticity. I've done, I've studied the brain a lot, right? That's how I know all this brain chemistry stuff. And um, so I'm not a huge fan of screens right before you go to bed. But one of the things that I do is on my phone, I've got a game, and it's Sudoku. I'll, I mean, it's not a big secret. And I play a couple of hands of that every night before I go to bed. Why do I do that? Two reasons. One is... Um, for, uh, I don't know, I forgot the term for it, but it overwrites whatever I'm focusing on right before I go to bed. kind of helps me sleep, right? So it gives me something to focus on, focus on getting the puzzle uh, resolved before I go to bed, and it helps me sleep. That's, that's one of the core four. And then number two, um, it, it exercises the brain. I, I'm a big believer in that. I think you have to do that. You know, a, a muscle unused is a muscle lost. The brain works like a muscle if we don't use it. And here's the evidence for it. Have you ever seen, if you haven't, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can find the link to it uh, and share it with you guys. But there's a great episode. Actually, I think that's a, it's Ancient Aliens, so don't hate me for watching Ancient Aliens. But th there's an episode where they're talking about Einstein's brain. Uh, that's really what I wanted to get to. The structures in his brain when he died were uh, roughly the, the size and expanse of an 11 or 12 year old. I might have that number a little bit wrong, but, but a, a child. So as a child, when we're growing up, our brain is open to all kinds of input and stimulus and learning. And as we age, we believe we have learned everything. So we quit learning when we quit taking that stuff in and some of the structures of the brain atrophy they shrink right but his was wide open just like a child so i think that i mean just that's existence proof to me that if you exercise the brain then you can keep it open to new experiences to new learning and to growth and that is one of the keys to success all right that's it for this morning i hope that has uh, challenged you if uh, if health is something that you know we all know we need to do it we all know we need to do it myself included, we just don't, right? But it is one of the seven keys to a happy, healthy, balanced life <clears throat> is to at least pay attention to those four things, your rest, your exercise, your nutrition, and your hydration. If you remember nothing else, remember those four things, pay attention to those four. And if you need help with that, need some other uh, tools, some uh, I've got some charting tools to help you kind of keep track of that, just send me a message, let me know, I'll be happy to send that stuff to you. And, uh, and help you build out a plan, right? And we talked, remember last week, we talked about process. All of this is part of the process, right? And process, we, we pursue process to create predictability, right? So if you take care of your health, then I can have some predictable outcomes. All right, that's it for today. Remember the radio show is coming up at the top of the hour 47 minutes from now. Be sure to tune in for that at talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. I'll be back here again in the morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. I will talk to you then.